Today I'm here with a good friend of mine and we're going to be doing an oil change on a 2008 Honda CBR 600RR, which means it's a 600cc engine. But if you're doing your own oil change on a motorcycle this nice, you probably already know that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to step you through how to do this oil change, the basic supplies you'll need, and the tools you'll need. And doing it this way will most likely save you a lot of money. So watch and learn. Alright, so we're changing the oil on something. You're going to need new oil, of course, but you're also going to need a few other supplies. So let's start with the oil. My friend bought Oil Purple, which is a great brand. It's one of the top brands of oil. Uh, any good mechanic will tell you that you know, it's a solid oil. You're going to need three quarts of it for this type of motorcycle. Now, on the back, you'll see a little circle that looks like this. Kind of tells you the quality of the oil. See how it says SN? That's good. You need SG or later. And if it's later, the second letter will be farther to the end of the alphabet. So N comes after G, it's a better oil. So we're good there, you need three quarts of it. You'll also need a new oil filter. This is what filters the oil, helps keep it clean. Uh, the one recommended to my friend at the store uh, is PH6017A. We're not sure if that's standard, but we're pretty sure they're all gonna take very similar model filters. So one good oil filter. And this is what an oil filter looks like if you've never changed one before. Then you're gonna need a funnel just to help pour the oil in. You don't want to just kind of try to splash it or pour it yourself, you know. Could be messy results there. Then, okay, what are we going to do with the old oil? Well, you're going to need to catch it somehow. Don't let it run into the ground. You know, don't pour it down your sink. You're going to need an oil pan. And depending on the size of your vehicle or what you're doing an oil change on, you're going to need a varying size pan. This is three quarts, so you don't need a huge one. But for future reference, any oil change, you pretty much need these basic supplies. And then you need a few tools, which will tell you as we're using them what tools you need. But it's not going to be much more than an Allen wrench and a socket wrench set. So pretty basic tools for an oil change. Start your bike and let it idle for three to five minutes. To access your oil filter and your oil plug, which conveniently on this bike are right near each other, you're going to have to take off your low fairing. Lower fairing or cow is what some people call them as well. Now to take that off, you're going to need an Allen wrench and you're going to have to unscrew some of the, uh, the bolts on it. So here's one, here's another. These two have the same one. This is the upper fairing, but this is the lower one. So unscrew that. Then, where's the other one? Got one underneath. There's one underneath. Yeah, one underneath the back. Kind of in that area near the front tire. And then there's one in the back, kind of with a similar situation. So, so find your right size Allen wrench, and then you're going to want to turn it counterclockwise. So lefty loosey, and then later righty tighty, or clockwise to tighten. And it should come off pretty easily. You can finish unscrewing it with your hand if you'd like. So basically, repeat this process for all of your bolts. The bolt on the back of the lower fairing, near the back tire, you have to kind of get underneath it. And you can see it in there, connecting the two halves. That connects to the lower fairing on the other side of the bike. So you're going to have to get down and dirty with this one, but if you're doing your own oil change, that's expected. For this bolt on the lower fairing towards the back tire, it's not a nut connect holding the thread on the top side. It's kind of a rounded plastic piece, so you're going to need someone to get in there and kind of hold it with some needle nose pliers or something, while someone on the bottom unscrews it. Okay, hold on. Yeah, it's working. It's working. So I'm holding it tight on the top. My friend's unscrewing it on the bottom. Sometimes when you're upside down or unscrewing things at different angles, the whole lefty loosey, righty tighty thing gets kind of confusing. So if you feel it getting tight in one direction, stop going that way. All right, hold on. So keep doing this till it's untightened and you get the bolt free. We did not want to damage the rubber piece on the bike, so we ended up taking the fairing, the lower fairing or cowl off of both sides. See, this is the piece we were struggling with. As the bolt was turning, it was turning that plastic piece and we didn't want that to be an issue. So we took our whole lower fairing off, which has now exposed our oil reservoir right here 
And what was this thing called? Oil plug? Where? Yeah, oil plug. Which has exposed our oil plug. So we're going to unscrew that to drain out our oil. And then also, slightly over here, you can see that is our oil filter. Kind of like what I showed you earlier, we're just seeing the top of it now. We're going to be draining the oil here soon. Uh, and just to make sure none of our oil splashes on our exhaust, one of our exhaust pipes, we're just going to put some aluminum foil there. Better to get an aluminum foil dirty than an exhaust pipe. So put it on. You don't have to wrap it too tight. That'll be good enough right there. So then we're going to find the right socket to get that uh, nut off, plug to get that oil plug off. And then we're going to tilt, well, we're going to tilt up the bike, unscrew that, and then the oil is going to drain out into our oil pan underneath. We've discovered that the oil plug on this, the head of it, is a metric 12. So you're going to need a metric 12 socket, and then you're, wanna, you're going to want a driver, of course, to ratchet it. Lefty Lucy. We've got our oil catch pan in place. We've got our uh, socket wrench, our driver, with a number, was it 12? 12. A number 12 metric head on. So now just unscrew it and watch the oil come out. There we go, look at that. Oh yeah. And it's gonna be about three quarts worth, so don't rush it, you know. We're gonna need to clean the bolt, our oil plug. Now to get all the remaining oil out, let's tilt the bike a little bit. Yeah, and as you can see, the, the flow increased a little bit. Not a dramatic amount, but it's definitely helping get all that excess oil out. This is the view from the front of the bike, and you can see the oil filter, the head of it in there. It's got that white cross on it. Kind of stick your hand through in there, and then turn it. Uh, when you hand tighten these, you don't tighten them a super lot, so if it was put on good, you should be able to get it off with your hand. If not, you might have to use an oil filter wrench, or if you don't have one, lockjaw pliers will help you get it off. Turn it as counterclockwise as best you can. We couldn't get it with our hands, so we're going to try some lockjaw pliers on it. If you have an oil filter wrench, those are the best. But that's kind of a specialty tool. So we loosened it with the lockjaw pliers, enough that we can do it with our hand now. So my friend's going to do it with his hand, and be prepared, because some more is definitely going to shoot out. Whoever did it before tightened it too much. So you can hear it kind of trickling. So there we go, that's the old one. And see how much of it puddled down in there? Make sure you have the ring on there. Yeah, make sure you have the gasket on your oil filter, and that's the kind of rubber plastic ring in there on the edge. You do not want to leave that in. So here's our new oil filter, and the technique that they teach you and that everyone does is rub your finger around the new gasket with a little bit of oil. There we go. Now we're going to screw this filter into place with our hands. You don't need lockjaw pliers or uh, an oil wrench to tighten it, oil filter wrench. Just tighten it with your hands. And as soon as it gets tight, I was taught to go maybe one and a half turns, two turns, three turns. You don't want to go too tight with it. And be careful, don't, don't rush into doing this. You don't want to strip the threads. That is, you don't want to damage your threads. So once we've gotten on there, once it begins to set, really you don't have to go super tight with it. Two to three full revolutions is enough. Just hand tighten it. So clean your bolt that was on your uh, oil reservoir, your oil plug. And then we need to screw that back into place. Start it with your hand, nice and steady. And then we're going to use our metric 12 socket to tighten it into place. Okay, is that good enough? Yep. Okay, now the fun part. Grab your... Uh, 
funnel and your oil, your new oil, and we're going to pour the stuff in. Here's the oil cap, and it says oil on it, so that's, that's good design right there. You can untighten that with your hand. Take that sucker off. Put your funnel in it, and then pour in your three quarts of oil. And they usually come in one quart containers, or sometimes they'll be special oil change value packs. But if you care about your vehicle, buy a good brand like Royal Purple. So just pour it in. Now we're going to do this for all three of our quarts. Pour your three quarts of oil in, you can take your funnel out. Pull the ring off it. Make sure it rings back on it. Yeah, make sure your ring goes back on to your oil cap and then tighten it back on. And it's just a hand tightened one. Now we can start the motorcycle and let it run for a few minutes to make sure there's no leaks in our system. So now you need to dispose of your old oil properly, get rid of your old oil filter properly, and start your motorbike, your nice Honda CBR, and let it run for a few minutes and make sure there's no leaks. Now that we've changed out our oil, ran it for a few minutes to make sure the oil is not leaking, we need to put our fairings back on, or cows, whatever you like to call them. So just put them on the same way you took them off, and make sure you put the bolts back in the same spot, and tighten them up with your Allen wrenches. So you can hand start them, or guide them in with your Allen wrench, but then to finish up tightening, use your Allen wrench. And if you want, you can get them all in, and then don't completely tighten them until you have all of them secured. Then tighten all of them. Just for a uniform tighten, because you don't want to break the plastic. I like to pretend I can ride this bike. I can't. But, I don't have to pretend I helped do an oil change. It's super easy, and with limited supplies and tools, you can do it too. So let's review quickly. What do you need? You need three quarts of new oil. You need a socket wrench set to get off your oil plug. You need some Allen wrenches to get off your fairings for easy access. You need a new oil filter. And then you'll need a funnel to pour your, pour your new oil in. And then a pan to catch the old oil. So with just a little bit of effort and a little bit of time, you can change the oil on this. It only costs us about 40 to 50 bucks. And if you took it to a nice shop, it could be up to 100. So good luck. Try this at home. See ya.